So I have Windows 8, and the other day I was thinking that I really miss the Flip 3D effect in Windows 7. Now, to get this back in Windows 8, all you need is a pretty simple and free application that I used to use back when I had Windows XP. It's called WinFlip, and I've put a link in the description for the video. So when you've downloaded that application, all you basically need to do is extract the contents to somewhere else or another folder. I'm using WinRAR and I'm going to extract it to its own individual folder. After you've done that, you just need to go into it and then just click on winflip.exe. Now straight away, what you can just usually do is just click on the icon in the system tray and it'll bring you up with something like this. Exactly the same as what you used to use. You can also go to right click on the actual icon and set the level of anti-aliasing to improve the image quality. You just have to make sure that your computer can handle that, as well as set the texture quality to any desired that you want. You can go to options and you can change the actual shortcut to make the wind flip. Since I have Windows 8, I'm going to select Alt and Tab, since the Windows key and Tab changes between Metro or modern UI apps and the desktop. You can also change the mouse sensitivity and to activate it when you click to the left, right, top or bottom of the screen. You can also set the program to run as automatically, but sometimes you may get this error which I'm going to help you sort out later. You can also use the system memory instead of video memory if you have more RAM and a low-end graphics card or little memory on the graphics card. Now what if you want to start up this program with your computer and you get that message that we just saw? It's pretty simple, what you can do is just right click on the winflip.exe and create a shortcut. After that you can copy the shortcut and put it into your startup folder of Windows 8. Because I have a start menu replacement it's going to be easy enough for me to just go to the startup folder here and then paste it. Obviously you can also go to this folder on screen right now. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, I hope you found it useful until next time, thank you for watching and goodbye.